Hi guys, welcome to Tag TV. Uh, we've got a few guests on today. We've got Andy, Dale, and Dave. Uh, so we've got a few fixtures coming up. Uh, Good Friday and then Bank Holiday Monday as well. Uh, Go to Andy first. After performance against Millwall or lack of performance against Millwall, um, surely we've got to be picking his hands up and taking it a bit performance, uh, Andy. Mm, well, I, I thought that against uh, Millwall, but uh, I don't know. Need a lot, lot more faith. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest. I think half it plays. Um, are already planning the holidays, and I think some of them knows, you know, that they're going to be at different clubs anyway. So they, they just look like the damn tools. And I hope um, against Swansea that we do put a bit more effort. We can't put any less in, surely, mm. to God. Mm. Um, but yeah, at least give us a chance. But I, I personally think that's it now. Honestly, do I, I know mathematically it's still possible, but. No, I, I think we, I think we're done there. Honestly, yeah. Dale, your take on the Millwall game, and do you think we're down? <clears throat> is it mathematically possible? People are still clinging on to work, but realistically, it is mathematically possible. It's under that. It's that's hundred percent certain. It's mathematically possible. Um, mate, I, I, I was surprised. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I was surprised about Millwall result. To be fair, because we normally do well there. Um, but it's it's just we're we're in all now. We're just waiting for dirt to get shoveled onto us, and you know never to be seen again. You know what I mean? It, it's alt nails are in coffin. We've been lowered down into the grave. We're just waiting for to for dirt to get tipped onto us. But I I'm, I I don't really care, mate. Uh, it's 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 been a disgrace of a season, you know. Even those positive results that we got a couple of weeks ago, um, that game in hand against Reading, we didn't really build on it, did we? From you know, them few wins and that. No, we didn't, mate. No, um, defending one nil leads to players not looking bothered, um, manager don't look bothered. Mm. I know he says that he might be, but he's not, because he just stands there like a little kindergarten teacher, and he's no, nah, he weren't the right man for the job at the start of it. Um, Millwall was just a, no, it was, it was just an absolute free for all, really, weren't it? Mm. Um, well done to Palmer for getting his goal, I guess. Um, another another player that hadn't turned up this season at all. Looking like a one-season wonder, but he's like many other players that just need a, a, a an arm around the shoulder. But I think we, I think we're done, mate. I think I really do. I really do. Dave, do you think it was a missed opportunity against Freddie when you know we played him at home, and then you know they went to well, got the win against Stoke, so it like Pavel more missed you us kind of thing, it? And then. We seem to be just like I want to capitulate, but we just didn't seem to show up against Millwall. Do you think it right to run up wall from Mill, uh, Reading game? Well, I didn't see the Reading game. It's one of the few games this season that I've not actually watched. Mm. Um, I've heard feedback from it, and I saw we were one 0 up after five minutes. I didn't see the final result until after the after full time, uh, mm. long time after full time. It was about seven o'clock, I think, and. Um, from what I've heard, we got the goal and sat back for 85 minutes, which, you know, that's going to be even by our standards. Uh, lessons not learnt. You know, we've done that so many times this season, but against a team like Reading, no disrespect to Reading, but the, 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 the form they've been in, it, it was a game that you had to win. You know, no other result was good enough. It was it was the six-pointer, the biggest six-pointer. And, you know, game we should have been winning. We've just sat back and thrown it away. Didn't see it, so I can't, you know, I can't comment on performances individually from the players, but it just sounds like a deja vu to me. Mm -hmm. I watched the first 70 minutes of Millwall on Saturday, and apart from a the five minute spell after we got the goal at the start of the second half, it was absolutely abysmal. No one looks bothered, apart from uh, Carlton Morris, 
And if I was him, I'd be feeling really aggrieved if the amount of effort he puts in, uh, the enthusiasm he has for the club, the game, it just, he's like a one man team and no one else around him seems bothered. Like Dale said, they're planning their end to their holidays, what clubs are going to be playing for the next season. If I was Carlton Morris, I'd be thinking, yeah, I'll be playing for somebody else next season because I don't want to play in a team like this. And as much mm-hmm. as I love the guy, I'll begrudge him that one little bit because he deserves so much better than he's got this season. No one's looked bothered from the start of the season, and the, both managers, it's been exactly the same. Both of them as bad as each other. The team don't look motivated. We know they can play better than that. And, you know, I, I expected a bit of a, a bit of a come down after last season. I didn't expect us to be up, you know, knocking around the playoffs again. Um, crowds coming back, they always go against us. We never play, you know, great against away crowds, for example. We've always struggled on the road. Uh, last season, when there were no crowds there, then you saw the effect it had on the team. Uh, but there was that Ishmael, who's probably the only manager in recent seasons that's been any good, really. But obviously, he's got experience playing the English game. He's he's played here with Palace. He knows how it works. Um, these are the people that he keeps bringing in that no one's ever heard of before. They don't know our they don't know our leagues, they don't know our games. You know, it's you know, it's it was a sorry performance against Millwall and. You know, after the fourth goal in, it was, yeah, channel over, watch someone else. Could, couldn't, oh. just couldn't watch it. They couldn't be bothered, so I couldn't be bothered. Why should I? Oh. Uh, going back to that, then, Dale, we, Ishmael, like what Dave's been saying, via uh, we managers, we, are, we don't seem to have been, what can I say, strong, uh, strong enough characters as, as managers to get the best out of players. Yeah. Do you think if Ishmael had been the uh, wit crowd as well, take that into consideration, all the crowd, do you think it had got a different tune out of these players because that's majority of them when you think about it from last season albeit apart from one or two what's left so do mm. you think ishmael would have made a, his own impact on on team ishmael were an ass kicker mate mm. i never met the bloke but he looked to be an ass kicker mm. and if you and if you let the club down the fans down him down the selves down he would have got he would have you know he would have give you the boot up ass you know what mm. i mean um <clears throat> I I do I do but would would the lack of signings made an impact? Yeah. Um you know because yeah we did have the same amount of players, the same faces, apart from Mowat and a few more that went. Um I, I I think I think we wouldn't be where we were. I don't think we'd be where we where we are now. Mm. I, I think I think would be. We wouldn't be. It's a tough question. I I agree with Dave with what Dave said. I, I said I, I wouldn't have expected us to to be pushing for playoffs again. Mm. I would have expected a nice decent season, but I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have expected to be where we are now. Mm. If Ishmael were here, hundred percent not. I think Ishmael would have. Um. I think he would have got some. I, I agree with you. I, I think that Ishmael would have got some out, out at players. Um, and, it, you know, it would have been a chance as well for fans to sing his name. And Because, you know, if fans start singing manager's name, that's a bit of confidence for manager to, to, get, to get going, you know, week after week. Um, yeah, I agree with you, mate. Absolutely. It, we won't be where we are now. And, and I think that the, the lads would have been a little bit more positive than, than what we're seeing. Yeah, so just going off that, uh, Andy, what you know, being on about Ishmael, it's ironic that Ishmael's only game in front of fans were against Swansea in playoffs. And when you look at Swansea, they're around about mid table, so it's like what both Dave and Dale have said you don't expect to be beer or beer about in playoffs, but you expect to be like competing. I mean, look at Swansea, they had some changes, didn't they? Um, so they've gone like mid table, and I think. Yeah. I think we'd have been happy with that mid-table. Sons we've been fighting for some performances, which we haven't been this season. So, taking that into account, we just like I say, Ishmael. What you know, what few fans did say against Swans, we're taking on Swans uh, City. They're not to be taken for for mugs and all. Have a really Swans because it's always going to be a tricky tricky place. And we've got, we've got a sprinkling of decent players in there at Swans. To be fair, haven't we? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be tough. Um... Obviously, our confidence is going to be down. Um, I, I don't, I, I'm getting to the stage where I really don't know what else to say, really. Um, 
Yeah, um, all those ones is in mid table. Um, our ends are going to be, and I think deep down, I, I think most players know that uh, you know it, it, we've got his ends up block now. Mm-hmm. Um, I must admit, I'm dreading score tomorrow. I, I think um, I think it could be another repeat of Melwell. Honestly, yeah. do yeah, honestly do. Um, I know we. Collins uh, being out, uh, I know that's another big... Bl- I mean, I don't mind Walton. Um, I think Collins is best stick too, but I don't mind him. Um, but I think that's going to be um, another big blow. Um, but yeah, I, I am I am dreading game tomorrow. Can, can I just say how shambolic his defence has been this season as well? Yeah. Mm-hmm. His defence has been non-existent this season... With, with regards to last season, I I, I don't understand it. I, it I seemed, think as well is that midfield has been lackluster, and I think defensive if it's been putting more pressure, <clears> more it's making yeah. defence more. What can I say? Midfield is harder because midfield has just been going through our midfield like not knife or butter on it. And yeah, we've missed the soul battle, haven't we? That's we've missed the soul leaders, haven't we? We've missed leaders, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. I love it, pitch to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I, love it. I mean, yeah. I said to Maddie the other day, um, my vote for player at season, and this says a lot about season and team, I'm going to vote for Collins, me. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, can't, you know, you can't hold it against him just because he's a goalkeeper. I think he's been Easy. Uh, a really good uh, key player for us. And mm-hmm. I, I think that's probably the last we'll see in him. But um, yeah, it says a lot, though, when you vote for keeper, but that's who I'm going to go with. Yeah. Just going on with Collins, uh, Dave, what Andy were on about, be a, 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 I've seen it in press and that it looks like Collins is going to be out for the rest of the season. Woodrow might be, might be uh, in squad tomorrow, saying it's looking likely. He said it's in team, but I think it's too early for the team. But it's like what Andy, Andy just said, yeah, yeah, if it's if it's going to be a goalkeeper, it says a lot about what's happened in our season. And like I say, his defence has been chopping and changing about a bit and if at time we haven't been knowing what system we've been playing three at back, four at back, three at back, and it's like what Bill would be playing, and it's point what you know, good point what Dale's done because, uh, like I said, the defense has been poor, but we've been playing that many different formations. Is midfield haven't been really tracking back and helping out, but when mistakes do happen and Collins is via, it's like his last line of defense, and it seems to be highlighted even more with Collins. But for me, it I sums, think it's more points. It sums it up, though, doesn't it, when Callum Britton says, I don't know what style of play we're yeah. playing or we don't know what mm-hmm. we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. bad. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Collins is going to be out for the rest of the season, but looks in it. Uh, so, Walton and Beer going to come around to change, you know, team lineups. So, I don't think it's going to be much day, uh, day, but would you mess about with Oak much? I mean, Palmer came in for Matty Wolf, who's just signed a two year contract. Would you? Would you replace hotels any different to shut things up? I don't think it matters anymore, does it? I did, you know, we're, we're down. I don't, you know, mm. it's, it's not it's mathematically we can still stay up. You know, it's not impossible. But based on the results we've had this season, we, we're not going to we're not going to stay up. We're, mm. what, we're eight points behind Reading. So yeah. the best case scenario, we need to win three of our last is it six games. We're left five or six, six games. Six games, yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to win. We need to win three, and hope Reading lose all mm. six of theirs or five of theirs, and then they got left. It's not going to happen, um, you know. So we need need at least four, probably five, and you know we've pretty much got that many wins all season. It's 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 not going to happen, you know. Um, so you could do it. You could come out tomorrow and you could play half the academy, and I'd probably get more enjoyment out of the game than watching a bunch of lads yeah. that just don't care what they're doing, don't care, you know, <laughs> it's like Dale said, the manager doesn't care, so that's going to filter down to the players, why should they care? It's, mm. for, and, and like he said, for me, it, it, we can see that the season's over, they can see the season's over. I don't like the attitude that even though it is over, we don't continue fighting. Mm. Um, thinking yeah. back to, was it 2013 under Flitcroft, yeah. when we looked down and the you know, that team, they weren't a great team of players. There were some good individuals in the squad, but they weren't a great team. You know, mm. but look at the performances they put in. They played with heart, you yeah. know, and they played with passion. And, you know, we, we survived on the last day at Huddersfield. And can you imagine any of those the players on the team today with a 
you know, apart from maybe Collins, Morris, you know, putting in that sort of effort, that sort of fight. You know, mm. Can you imagine the dressing room being like it was after that Huddersfield result? It was, it made me feel really, really proud to be a Barnsley mm. fan when Flickcroft gave his talk and all the fans were all, all outside and they were throwing him in the air. And it, it just showed how much it meant to them. I can't imagine, you know, bar two or three of this team even bothered about that. They just, you know, no, it's just a job to them. They just don't care. There's, there's no passion. You know, it, that's the thing about modern football. Most of them play for a wage these days. They don't play for the mm. badge. I think we've got too many players in our team that don't play for the badge. Personnel, as Dale said, hasn't changed much from last season. So it's obviously the lack of motivation <clears> coming from elsewhere. Ishmael wouldn't have taken this this season. He would have yeah. lost, lost his shit. He really would have with these sort of performances. And, you know, you might get away with the odd one, but, you know, after a rollicking for him, you're not going to put in that performance again week in, week out. Dave, week do, you, do, you, Dave do you think do you think Poyer's scared of telling players off? Gain on I, just don't, I just think he's out of his depth. I just... You know, everyone says he's like a games teacher. You know, games teachers, they don't motivate you. They don't put an arm around your shoulder and say, come on, you can do better. This is what you should be doing. They just... They're not bothered. They're not bothered, and I don't think he's. I just. I think he's really out of his depth. You know, it'd be like. It'd be like me going in there managing the team. You know, I, I could probably motivate him better than he can. I might not have the technical abilities for managing a football team, but I don't think he's got that either. But I, I'd say I wouldn't take this kind of performance week in week out and let him get away with it. So I really wouldn't. Well, mm. let's just look at his record. He, he's managed Sweden under twenty ones. He got one of the biggest teams in Sweden nearly relegated. And and there's no there that tells me that he's a decent manager. If he managed, let's say, if he managed a team in Sweden and got him into Europa League or Champions League, I would have said, oh, all right, we, we might have a little bit of a gem on his hands. But to get one of the biggest teams in who did he might were it were it Gothenburg that he that he managed in Sweden? I have K Gothenburg, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's 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 so confusing on, on what the what what what's going on, you know what I mean? And you said the others the others the others field game we we got we got saved by points deduction then I think didn't we? Because didn't Portsmouth go into administration yeah. or something like awesome. that? Yeah, and, and you know and last 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 three survivors last three survivals we've had has been by points deductions. It's been absolutely disgusting. You know what I mean. And <clears throat> you go, we go back to, we go back to. Let's just go back to Reading a little bit. Reading shouldn't be where they are. They're all here where they are because of the points deduction. They shouldn't be the quality of players that they have. They shouldn't be where they should be where they are. They're still not playing well, though. Reading. They, no, they've really had a six point deduction. They're still not playing well. Um. I think that I think that's because of manager as well, Paul Ince. Uh, I don't, I don't rate him as, as a manager either, to be fair. But nah, listen, um, um, I, I, I do think we're down. I really do because I think the, the morale all around this, not just the players, the, the fans as well. You know, I've, I've never heard all quell is quiet. I think the loudest game that I went to was uh, a couple of weeks back, and it, we were singing. I think when, when we won to what it, oh Bristol City. When we beat Bristol City, that what loudest I've heard us, and and it's took it's took us all, you know. And I'm not getting on it. I'm not getting on it, fans. Don't don't get me wrong, but it it does make it does make that significant change when when you play well when the fans are singing and dancing, cheering, clapping, whatever. But when <clears throat> when when you're not playing well, you're going to get boos, and that's affected players. I've said that from from I've said that to you, Neil, from day one. Day one of this season, it's been because of the fans returning. Those players, they are they are used to playing with fans from back from years back, but they, they weren't used to last year. They weren't used to playing in, in front of nothing, and I think it's because of fans returning, groaning, swearing, booing, whatever. That I think that's I think that is a. a factor of where we are and I stand by that until until we do get relegated so 
I think as well it's been like a poor season all the way around recruitment and stuff like that and I get where you're coming from with like quietness in ground and stuff like that but any player that's wants to play football you want to get to ice level you want to go you know you want to play in grounds full <clears> you want crowd cheering you on you want to take it all the way to finals and stuff like that so if players can't get motivated with you know playing in front of crowds I know there's been like issues with on and off at pitch as well with certain things happening but again end of day start at place to get the crowd on board and you know everybody on board upstairs will say you've got to like back your boy back, back your managers we we will back them but it's got to work on both ways you've got to give us as fans what's paying us money to go through turnstiles to mm -hmm. have something to cheer about and when you're seeing no performance on pitch it's going to be hard to get motivated or take positive start in it when it's poor and you know what i mean so you're going to yeah. expect your bulls you're going to expect your negative but if you if you if you'd have lost against say a reading i know we drew but say we lost against reading but we'd actually fought for it you, you're going to get around the thought you're going to get crowded up but in that such a performance where you just sat back you're going to expect your groans i mean people sat behind me and saying we said it's all it's we can see it as, as people but the hardest thing for me was when Poy came out on local radio and saying we weren't doing that, even Andy Giddens would turn around and say, Yeah, you are. But last half hour, he was sat back. Everybody could see it in ground. So it's got to yeah. get through onto the pitch and onto players and affect how they play. Mm. You know, it's like if it's negative on pitch, it's going to come up into the stands. You can't yeah. expect them in stands to be all positive and think, Do you know what? We're unlucky with it. No, we were, because it's on down, folks, we're like literally sat back. We were happy at 1 0. We didn't take it. We didn't take it. We didn't take it for kill. We didn't finish him off, and it's simple, hasn't it? It's we did, against, we did against Bristol City, though, didn't we? Yeah, we, we took his chance against Bristol City. We were two 0 up. Then, then you can start to think about the defensive side of the game. But too conservative, too too soon, yeah, isn't it? It's, I agree. Do it. So yeah, going back to Swansea. Uh, we'll set score predictions. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of shot. This one. So we'll go to. <laughs> We'll go to day first. Score predictions, mate, against Swansea. Well, I've put two bets on today. Uh, one for four nil defeat, and one for a five nil defeat. Because wow. I just think we're going to get going to get ripped a new one tomorrow. Mm, right. I just think with the performance the team put in and the effort they give, you know, Millwall are not a great team. You know, they're they're flitting with the playoffs. You know, they're they're a decent side. Uh, you know, they just batted us away as easy as that. Mm. I think confidence is going to be even lower after that performance. Um, Swansea are on a bit of a high at the moment. They were, you know, down fighting relegation for a while. They're on a bit of a run now. And I saw them absolutely batter Cardiff a couple of weeks ago when they were they were on fire that game. You know, and I just think they're bringing with confidence. I think it's going to be messy tomorrow. I really do. The fence isn't going to be able to cope. Um, I... Just to be honest, I can't really see us scoring. I, I really can't. We just don't create enough. That chance, um, I think Millwall sort of like were architects of their own downfall a little bit after they went 2-0 up on, on Saturday. I think they just sort of like took for granted that the game was over and, yeah. you know, we got in and, you know, Palmer had that that shot that went in. But, you know, it's not so often we see Palmer getting shots on tight. Our mind scoring. Um, but we didn't really... I don't think we really created any clear-cut chances. Britain's in the first few minutes. But after that, it was long-range efforts. And mm. I just think we look weak in defence, weak in midfield, <laughs> weak in front. And I just think it's going to be a drubbing tomorrow. Let's Go in expecting the worst. And anything better than that yeah. is going to be a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to Dale. <laughs> well, mate, we haven't, we, haven't beat, we haven't beaten Swansea in 12 years. And we've only had one away win all season. Yeah. We, the, we we haven't beat at or more away. Uh -huh. We haven't beaten Swansea since I think the playoff final in two in two thousand six two thousand seven. Uh, yeah, two years. <clears throat> yeah, but in the mm. in in league action, we haven't won in twelve in twelve year against them. So um, could Cal, let's just say you mentioned Callum Britton there. Callum Britton's one of the luckiest players on that field. If Jordan Williams were fit, 
he'd been at our yeah, we've got, we've got one enjoyed them, we yeah, they were. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. I think we'll score because we we are scoring goals. Um, not many like, but we're scoring. Oh, I'll go. I'll take a draw. I'll go. I'll go one one. One one. Andy. Um, I'm unfortunately agreeing with Dave. Um, I think I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a big ask after the Millwall game with confidence and whatnot. Mm. Um, my heart is saying we'll sneak a one 0 win, but my head is saying we'll lose four one. Four one. Yeah. If we sneak a one 0 win, I'll streak across the pitch at full time. <laughs> no, please, please well, I'll go for four nil loss then. How's that? <laughs> I think everyone's open for that now. <laughs> uh, I'm going for two two. I'm hoping that after performance against Millwall, that players give him a rocket up ass in training and expect him to go out there. I can't see us winning. I just, I just can't see us winning. I'd like to think we were going to win. Uh, of course, I do, but. Like I said, one away in all season. We haven't been great at Swansea, like I say, uh, in, in league. I think Swansea will be in with goals. Us as goals, I think there'll be goals in it, but we, like I said, we don't score many, but I've just got a feeling, we, you know, if it's out from a corner or a free kick, I don't like that. But I'm going for 2-2. Um, and again, it's... That's just not hard re- to roll, really, isn't it? No. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's not going to really make a difference in our season. Uh, Reading have got Chef United away. You know what I mean? So, so even if they pick up a point there, so it's another point away for the I, I think I worked hard when it when we come round to Woodsfield game on B Friday, because that's been changed, isn't it? To Friday. I think we might be down then. If I think we'll be down. Got, if if end of month, got, I think we'll be down. Yeah. Because we've got yeah. we've got Peter Britt on Monday. I don't know if they've got ready now, look to be fair. Um but We've got then Uddersfield and then Blackpool is is over game and kind of thing with COVID, wasn't it? But I, I worked out. I think I think if results went, we could be down mathematically. I think mm. or, uh, by then. So, Reading, Reading, Reading have got Sheffield United away tomorrow. They've got Swansea at home on Monday. They've got Hull away, West Brom at home, and Luton away. You know what I mean? And can you see him honestly losing like three three games there? And us like winning three games? I, I, think they'll, I, th- I think they'll lose tomorrow. I think they'll lose against Swansea. And I think they'll lose against Luton last game of the season. Yeah, I think I think we've come away with a draw at Luton, me like. I know that they're fighting up before uh, playoffs and that. Mm. It's pretty tight to be in What's that? What's our running? Our running Swansea tomorrow, Peterborough. Huddersfield, Black. We got one, two. We got three. We've got we've got to take. Uh, we've got to take nine points from his home games, in my opinion. Just that's just to stand a chance. But I was going to say that's that's bearing in mind Reading games as well. What they've got to do yeah. in their game. So yeah, yeah. Right, guys. Thanks everybody for watching. Please leave your comments. Uh, the Oscar predictions. What you think? Win, loss, draw, uh, drubbing. You know, season of a Keep them respectful. I'd like to thank Andy, Dale, and Dave for joining me. Uh, get a quick in, uh, quick yeah. in, Neil. Yeah. I've got somebody who wants to come on. All right. Khalid! Khalid! <laughs> Khalid! <laughs> Khalid! <laughs> <laughs> Khalid, he's not. He's not there, Andy. Lad, I don't know Khalid, <laughs> gonna get him on in the record. <laughs> yeah, <hello. laughs> Cheers, guys. Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, have a good weekend. If you are going to Swansea, be safe with travel. Um, one thing left to say: you were it. <laughs>